So yeah, um, I'll tell you how to solve problem C. So the problem uh, is uh, rather difficult to read and understand uh, correctly, uh, and it is not as difficult to solve after that. So uh, there are a lot of conditions. Uh, we get this graph of uh, uh, cities, and uh, we have cars which want to go from some cities to the end destination. So cities are numbered from 1 to 4, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And uh, in some cities there are cars. For example, in this city there are four cars. Uh, and in some cities maybe no cars at all. And uh, all the cars have the same destination they want to get to. In this case, uh, everybody wants to get to the city number one. So uh, other than cities, there are roads between them. And each road has a time that it takes for any car to go through this road in any direction. For example, this is a road which takes six minutes to get, and this one is four minutes, this one is five, this one is five. So uh, all the cars want to get to the destination as fast as possible, so they start all at the same time, and everybody chooses some shortest possible path from the starting point to the destination. So nobody wants to get a long way, everybody chooses shortest path. Uh, there can be several shortest paths from start to destination, like in this example we have uh, two paths of length 10. W the first one is from 4 to 3 and then to, to 1, and the, the other one would be from 4 to 2 and then to 1. So there are two different shortest paths. Uh, we want to avoid congestions uh, in this problem, so that uh, uh, congestions ha happen when two or more cars go through the same road in the same time. So we want to avoid that completely. It's okay if uh, uh, two cars go through the same intersection on their way, or if two cars go through the same road, but uh, in different times. So the question is how many cars can get from their start points to the destination given that there are no congestions. Now, uh, this is a, a relatively simple problem based on uh, the maximum flow algorithm. Uh, we have to make an observation that if two cars start uh, at two vertices which are uh, at different distance from the destination one, uh, then they cannot congest at any point of time because if they are uh, traveling through uh, the same road, they will do it at different times because the distance between them and uh, uh, destination point will always be different. So we only have a possibility of congestion when two cars start uh, at exactly the same distance from the destination point. So we basically group all the cars by the distance to the destination point. And then in one group, we have to find how many cars with the same, uh, with the same distance to the destination uh, can uh, go simultaneously by completely different shortest paths to the destination. Uh, they shouldn't intersect by any roads. And that is a standard uh, maximum flow problem where you have a graph which consists, in this case, only of the shortest, on the edges, on the shortest paths from start points to the destination. And uh, you have to find the maximum possible number of edge disjoint paths. So this is done by maximum flow algorithm. So basically the solution for this problem goes like this. First we find the distances from destination to all other vertices in the graph using Dijkstra algorithm with a priority queue. We have to use this improved version of Dijkstra algorithm because the number of vertices in this problem is up to 25,000 and it would be too long to do it in uh, n squared. So we do it in m log n where m is number of rods that is allowed. Uh, that uh, goes into time limit well. And after that, we solve many max flow problems, each one for a different distance from uh, the destination. 
uh, and to estimate the complexity of that, we have to take into account that each step of increasing the flow takes time big O of M, where M is number of edges or rods, and uh, uh, we have to find no more than C uh, augmenting paths, where C is the number of cars in the problem, so this part of problem takes time big O of M by C. Uh, and that's basically all we then have just to add answers for all the different distances uh, to destination that we get in this problem. So several teams have submitted this problem, many of them got their solutions accepted and uh, those who didn't do it uh, or didn't do it f uh, on the first attempt mostly had some uh, minor bug in their implementation. Uh, so one of the perks of this problem is you have to remember that when you add a source vertex to the graph to solve a max flow problem and you add edges from the source, you have to put capacity of the edges equal to the number of cars that are present in the vertex, not just one or zero, but the number of cars that, uh, that are residing in that vertex. And you also have to implement the max flow correctly. So. So it's like That's a all. lot of work with this problem. Yeah, it's it's like uh, you have to build the graph and you have to implement uh, Dijkstra with heap and you also have to implement Maxflow. Those are all standard algorithms and uh, they're well known to the world finalists probably, but uh, there's a lot of implementation work and, uh, right, and details. And